So, hello, and uh, nice to be back. Uh, well, yes, I'm back at home. I can finally do uh, voice commentary again. Uh, for those of you who don't know, well, I spent uh, the last two weeks, um, well, I spent Christmas with my family. And of course, when you are in a house full of kids and um, sisters and parents and uh, people talking all the time, you can do commentary. Because if you do commentary, you also will record the voices in the background. So it was impossible for me to do anything with voice. That's why all the videos from the last two weeks have been with text. But well, as I said, right now I'm back at home and so I will be able to uh, resume doing commentary uh, with voice. Now, say that this is a video not, sp not about gameplay. You can see some gameplay there in the background. A very fun battle I had in <laughs> a big PvP battle with uh, Lynx, uh, which was pretty hilarious at times. So I hope you have fun while watching it. But this is not a game about uh, well, gameplay or naval action on itself. It's kind of a more, more or less channel update because it's been a while since I last spoke about well where the channel is, uh, where it's heading to, what you can expect and what, what you can't expect. Uh, so let's get started by saying that obviously well naval action is um, attracting a lot of attention on uh, on this channel because I simply love that game to bits. I think it's simply extremely good. Um, I mean, this is one of those games that you really don't believe they exist because I look at it that everything I see is positive. And the things that are not posi positive, at least they are not hugely negative. There are some things I don't really like here and there, but they are actually not that important uh, in, the, in the big... Um, in the big spectrum of what the game is. So you can expect a lot of gameplay coming on. Uh, this is the game I'm going to play for a lot of time to come. So, yeah, suddenly the air combat school has translated into a sail combat school, what I'm going to do. <laughs> um, about naval action, I have something else to say, but it's going to be in a while. Um, more games, well, uh, Men of War, probably I will post something, because, well, now and then I play with other Spanish guys and I won't commentate those ones, I will leave the voice comms so you can hear me speaking in Spanish and I will add some pretty small text uh, commentary here and there in English for all those of you who can't understand in, uh, Spanish. Um, I did that as a kind of a test uh, in one video with Men of War 2 a couple of weeks ago. Actually worked pretty fine and um, probably I will do so again in the future. Won't be common, but maybe you can expect a video now and then. Uh, Elite Dangerous. Well, Elite Dangerous is a game I was looking forward to with a lot of expectation. Um, and I'm going to play it and I'm going to obviously put some videos on this channel, but it's not going to be the big focus I expected it to be because never action has happened. Uh, still, you will expect some videos about that and um, you will see me, well, derping around in, in Elite Dangerous. It's a game I haven't put any footage on for the last month or so. And that's because I knew I was going to spend all the Christmas out uh, at home, uh, out of home, and of course when I went for Christmas I didn't bring all my flight gear, the joystick, the throttle, the, the pedals, the track gear, I didn't bring it with me. So I couldn't uh, play Elite Dangerous. I potentially could have done so with mouse and keyboard, but honestly I'm used to play Elite Dangerous with um, with uh, flight gear, so um, that was on hold for the last uh, yeah, month. I have barely played it, but now that I'm back and now I can use my flight gear again, I will play more and probably will be able to expect more of that. And of course, you all will be wondering what Thunder was going on with it. Uh, War Thunder simply. I mean, I, I don't want to be perceived as wholly negative. Uh, I think the game still has its merit. I think it's still. It still can be fun. Uh, I'm not going to say that for me it's not, because thankfully some things are changing and they are changing to the positive, positive but the change has been a little bit too slow. But the main problem is that there are other games that simply have hooked me. I once was looking forward playing War Thunder for years to come, but that that's not the case anymore when I 
reach my computer, I look at the games I can play, and I see the list of play and games I, ca I can play. I see naval action in there, and I'm like, yeah, yeah, let's have some battles. I see Men of War, and it's like, yeah, 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 let's have some battles. I see Wasteland 2, which is a game I picked in Steam um, sales, and I say, hey, let's play this for a couple of hours. Uh, I, I see a lot of games, but, but when I reach for Thunder, it's like, there are so many other stuff I want to play before this. And I barely play it anymore, so yeah. Uh, there's not a lot of content of War Thunder coming in the f uh, future. I guess that, well, with new patches and new updates, I will cover that. I will give my opinions and that kind of stuff. The opinions I can give, of course, because um, I'm. I guess you already know, I'm um, associated with the War Thunder Player Council, so I know some things that are going on behind the states, stages, but I can't speak about them. Uh, I only can see, say that those of you who are playing War Thunder and you want to keep on playing War Thunder, don't give it up on it. Um, there are good things in the future, they are going to be slow to come, really slow to come, that's the main problem, things are going really, really, really slow, but there are nice things to come. So you can be, let's say, moderately positive about what's coming. But for me, quite sincerely, simply the game doesn't have the allure it has one, it had it once had. Um it doesn't feel the thing I wanted to play. So I barely play it anymore. And uh, yeah I guess that covers most of the games. Oh well yeah, Red Dragon and um um war game in general uh, this see th this is another problem i do play war uh, red dragon i do play it and i have fun with it and i even record some battles but the problem is i can't upload everything i, get, I play i have to find a focus for my channel if i spread too thin this channel is going to have no focus it's going to have no purpose it's going to be just another gaming channel which just portrays different games uh, I only can upload one video per day at the most because of my problems with my upload speed. I can't get um, cable in at home. I can get optic fiber because there's not none available here, uh, and it's, be, it's going to be a while before there's going to be any. So I'm restricted to a one megabyte upload speed, and of course that means hours upon hours of uploads for even small videos. Um, so it's one video per day. For me and uh, i want that video to make a difference and to be meaningful and to be really good and to be and to follow the focus of the channel actually so uh, sadly no uh, war dragon is uh, uh, red dragon is is a great game i have a lot of fun with it but simply i don't have the means i don't have the infrastructure let's speak it the same reason why i don't stream i would stream if i had the connection but i don't um, I simply don't have the ability to upload everything I want to upload. I have to be very picky and choose what I want to put up. And Red Dragon simply is, doesn't really fit into the channel right now. Um, you can say that Men of War 2 also doesn't fit, but that's a little thing that I'm doing because well, I have a smallest but important Spanish subscriber base and of course they are felt they are feeling a, li a little bit left alone because I'm Spanish and I don't make any videos in Spanish so that's kind of a little treat for them and it's happening very rarely maybe one a th once a month once it's couple of weeks is going to happen not no no more than that so I have to be very picky with what I, I, I upload and I simply don't have the means to upload more than one video a day per day and i want that video to be centered around what the channel is and right now that's mostly naval action so yeah for now red dragon is not going to happen i'm sorry because really it's a game i like it's a game i like a lot but i simply can't <laughs> it's it's just a matter of i don't have the means to put up everything i want if you remember, if you remember, actually, Red Dragon was featured in this channel very strongly when I left uh, War Thunder uh, back in November 13, more or less. And that's because back then I simply had nothing else to upload. Uh, nothing else had uh, got in my interest. And, uh, well, Wargame was really 
a really good game to 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 put up. But on the long term, there are other games that I want to portray in this game, in this channel. This channel is mostly about simulation, not so much about strategy. So yeah, that's that's why Red Dragon is probably not going to happen. I will try maybe to upload a game now and then, but it's going to be very rare. So don't really look forward to that because when it happens, it's going to be rare. So well, that's what you can expect from the channel from now on regarding two games. Now. There's another very important thing. Um, and today is um, well, we are ten days away from uh, the second anniversary of this channel, and um, well, not strictly so because uh, of course this channel dates a long way back because I was first a YouTuber be viewer and uh, a normal person who just had a YouTube account to watch others' videos and comment on them and whatever. But it's going to be two years since my first video happened. That's full of um, shit jack uh, game with um, voice comms that you could only hear through your right ear because I wasn't recording in the studio. Awful quality. I think I have come a long way since then. <laughs> but yeah, it's going to be two years and. I wanted to do something special, and thankfully I'm going to be able to. Um, and it's going to be a giveaway. Now, of course, giveaways must have two things. First, they have to have some kind of input from those who want to be part of the giveaway. And second, it has to have some kind of prize for the winners of the giveaway. Uh, I'm going to start with the prize, okay? And here I'm going to give a big shout out and thank you to Game Labs, the developers of Naval Action, because out of the blue, without me requesting anything at all, I mean, they were the ones who get, got in contact with me. Well, they thanked me for the videos I was making and they asked me if I wanted some keys of Naval Action to give away. And of course, well, hell yes. <laughs> um, I'm not going to say it a lot more here than yeah, that. Thank you a lot for being different from other game developers. Because if you think about the way I was treated by Gaijin when I was putting up words on their content and trying to teach the audience about how about that game and how I'm being treated by the developers of Naval Action, it's night and day. But whatever. It's a huge thank you because, well, that was a very, very, very nice gesture. So yeah, I have my hands on five double action keys. Now those are full keys. I mean, those are the same thing that you will get if you pre-order. So that that means that each key is worth 40 bucks, and that means that it's a 200 back um, giveaway, which is huge for me. <laughs> I mean, I'm not that big of a YouTuber, so that's really a very important giveaway. And um, yeah, well, I have my own ideas. Now let's go to the first part. Uh, what do you have to do to get uh, to have chances to win this? How do you have to do to get into the giveaway? Well, I have my own idea and I have my own thing in mind and I will announce it when time comes. Um, however, the thing here is that my idea, I think, is okay, but probably can be better, but I don't find anything better. So without saying what my idea is, <laughs> I'm going to ask you guys to propose something. And you can do so in the comment section below. What do you think what do you guys think about what the perfect giveaway would be? Now all I require for the idea to be taken in consideration is that it's related with naval action in some way. It doesn't have to be footage of naval action because that's pointless. If you already are putting footage of naval action, it's because you already have the game. So no, uh, it has something related with sail ships. Let's put it that way, with the theme of the game. And it has to be something related with the channel. It has to be something done within my channel. And um, I have, as I said, I have my own idea. But well, I'm giving you a free hand to. Well, share your ideas. Maybe I find something more interesting than what I have in mind and we do that instead. So yes, share your ideas. Think what you would like 
the giveaway to be like and share it and I will take that in consideration um, I mean all the ideas will be welcome maybe I won't take an idea but I will take some parts of the idea to incorporate that into my own and I will be, do a mixture or whatever but that's the thing there's a giveaway and I want to know what you guys want the giveaway to be like okay now as I said my second anniversary of my first video is coming 17th of January that's around 10 days in the future this time so there's no hurry in this but yeah well expect that to happen and happen pretty soon and who knows maybe you win and you will get a 40 buck um, access to a game because you will get access to the trials to the um, testing and you will also get access to the full game when it's it's released so again huge 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 thank you to game last for well <laughs> I mean the, the, this is night and day when I recall my pretty bad experiences with War Thunder and I compare them with this is night and day Alrighty, uh, what else? Oh yeah, uh, one last thing. Um, well, as you all guys know, uh, I do have a Facebook account. You can follow me there. You can actually friend me there because it's so far it's just an account. It's not a channel. It's not the kind of thing you can follow and like. It's something that requires you to send me a friend invite, and I will accept it. That was done because well, the channel was very small when I started and. Um, if um, sometime in the future I need to change it to a different nature and uh, to change, this, change it to um, a channel you can like and follow instead of um, sending a friend invite, well, I will do so. But not everyone has a Facebook account. Not everyone is interested in opening a Facebook account just to follow me. So, well, uh, for a long time I, I have had a Twitter account that I simply don't use at all. I mean, I have never been a very involved Twitter guy. But yeah, I do have an account there. So I guess I could make use to the, of that account to, well, give you updates of about what I'm doing, uh, videos that are upcoming, uh, my thoughts on whatever, um, to answer questions. And yeah, well, that's the idea. Now, my Twitter account is RamJB, just like that. Ram in capitals, JB in non-capital letters. So if you want to follow me on Twitter, just go there, add me on Twitter, and there will be a link in the description down below, so you can click on that and check it out. And um, yeah, you can follow me there, and I will try to keep it updated. As I say, I'm not a huge Twitter user, but I'm going to try to actually start using it to put up um, updates and uh, answer questions and keep in touch with you guys and uh, that kind of stuff. Of course, keep in mind that uh, I'm expecting some followers there. I mean, I'm not expecting a huge, huge, huge amount of them. I'm no jingles, for instance. But I'm guessing that I will have some numbers of people who are tweeting and asking questions and just telling me random stuff. So if you tell me something or if you ask something and you don't get an answer, at least an immediate answer, well, keep in mind that, of course, I can't answer everything I receive. But I'm going to try to keep it updated and I'm going to be active there and I'm going to try to answer as much things as I can do. So, yeah, if you are interested in that, if you have a Twitter account, just follow me. Again, run JB. Ram in capitals, yeah, in small letters. Uh, it's very easy to know it's me because my channel logo is up there, the big R. So, yep, you can do that. And I think I have all the bases covered. All I wanted to speak about um, is already done. So I'm going to speak a little bit about the gameplay you're watching right now. <coughs> As you can see, this is a Lynx. <laughs> this is the starter ship. And I'm having a blast with it in a big action with Bellonas around, Constitutions, Twinkomalies, Surprises, all bigger stuff than me. But still, I'm having fun. Now, one of the things I'm really uh, worried about is about people thinking this game is what it's not. Now, you have to understand that in a game like Naval Action, whatever you, the ship you are using 
you have a role to cover and that role uh, is not always sinking in enemy ships or at least well of course it's always sinking in enemy ships but sometimes you simply don't have a ship big enough to accomplish that so well what happens if you happen to be in a big ship battle with a uh, lynx well, you still can be a pain in the ass of bigger ships. You, you, you can see me here that I'm putting raking shots on Belonas, that I'm doing... Uh, I'm generally being a total pain in the ass of everyone else <laughs> in the enemy team. And it's very funny because being the smallest ship in my team means that people are going to shoot at bigger stuff before. Because, of course, if you see, a, I don't know, a Trincomaly and a Yacht, what are you going to shoot? The Yacht? Or the Trincomalee. Well, you are going to shoot the bigger ship. So, if you are a little bit smart in the way you move and in the way you uh, position yourself um, in relation with the enemy and the, and the team, you can actually just go around for free. Well, eating some chaser shots now and then, but no one is going to be mad enough to shoot a full broadside at you until they are really, really, really fed up with your shenanigans. As it happens right now. <laughs> Sir Cunningham in his Bellona was just sick and tired of me uh, raking him and being a pain in the ass and pestering him all the time. So he elicited a full broadside <laughs> from his Bellona because he simply couldn't stand me anymore. And that's the thing you can achieve in 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 naval action with small ships. I mean, I, I didn't sink anyone in this game, and I actually think I did 4k damage, something like that. Which, for, of course, for a Lynx is really, really good. But it's not battle decided. You are not going to win your battle. Yeah, You are not going to carry your team. You are not going to sink enemy first rates. But you still can make yourself such a big nuisance that the enemy is totally distracted by the fact that you are constantly tickle, tickling them on their asses. And that's hilarious. I, I mean, this is one of the most fun games I have ever had in Double Action. Believe it or not. And I'm in a Lynx. In a Lynx! <laughs> Four guns per side. And I'm essentially going there as soon as a frigate puts a broadside on me. So, yeah, but look at that, look at that. Rake, rake, rake. And Sir Cunningham simply couldn't stand me anymore. I was later on joke, joking with him, calling him bully, bully. You are shooting at a much smaller ship. You are a bully. But let's face it, the guy simply was tired of me. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, if you are in a ship that can't really um, pull the weight of a battle, who cares? Do your stuff, do your role, feed your role, be a nuisance. Cover your big ships, um, distract the enemy big ships, uh, keep the enemy light ships away, uh, and do whatever you are required to do and do it, enjoying it. Because I, I knew I wasn't going to sink anyone in this battle, I knew it. I was in a leaks. I was like, well, uh, uh, the moment s s someone looks at me, I'm going to go away, and I'm about to go away, as you see, I'm sinking. Uh, but I'm going to make the best out of it, and I'm going to have fun. And I did have a lot of fun. And that's the thing, a lot of people think that the fun in this game is sinking the enemy ships. Well, it is, if you can. If you have the ship that can sink enemy ships, do so. But if you have a very small ships, ship and you can't really do any more things than scratching the paint on the, of the enemy, well, just don't despair. Just enjoy what you actually can do with the ship you have. Because in the end, it actually means a difference. I actually think I did a big difference in this battle, uh, just because a simple, simple, small links that usually does nothing in a big battle was constantly pestering the rear of enemy bigger ships. So yeah, uh, I think that's the lesson for today. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed uh, the gameplay. I hope you like the update and um, well, what I told you about what's coming, what's going to happen with it in the future. As always, thank you very much for watching. It's nice to be back uh, commenting videos. And well, that's it. See you later.